Well, hello, and welcome back to Biblically Centered Kids on this lovely Thursday, October 3rd, 2024. This is Miss Danica and Mr. Johnny. We are so happy to have you listening. This week, we're talking all about relationships. If you recall, Virtue N says, We nurture healthy relationships that motivate us to display God's goodness. And today is New, New Testament, Testament Thursday. Thursday. We will be reading a story from the New Testament in the Bible that illustrates this week's biblical family virtue. The New Testament contains stories about Jesus' life and some letters and stories from his disciples after Jesus went back to heaven. The Bible is a book given to us from God that tells us all about him. When we read it, we can discover what he's done in the past and then learn what he has to say to us today. So let's discover God's word where we can find absolute truth, godly wisdom, and the unchanging promises of our creator. The story of Barnabas and Paul, or Saul, beautifully illustrates this week's biblical family virtue. We will see how Barnabas encouraged and supported Paul during a crucial time in his life, as well as how he used his own influence to foster community and strengthen the early church. Paul, or Saul, was known for persecuting the early Christian church. After his dramatic conversion on the road to Damascus, where he encountered Jesus, Saul began preaching boldly about Christ. However, Many of the early disciples were understandably pretty afraid of him. They remembered Paul as a fierce enemy of the faith, and they doubted the sincerity of his transformation. This is where Barnabas stepped in. Barnabas, whose name means son of encouragement, saw what others couldn't see, God's work in Paul's life. Rather than allowing Paul to be rejected by the apostles, Barnabas took a risk. He brought Paul to the apostles and stood as a witness for him. Barnabas told them how Paul had seen the Lord and how he had been fearlessly proclaiming Jesus' name. Barnabas' actions demonstrated his goodness and trust in God's power to transform lives. As a result of Barnabas' intervention, Paul was accepted by the early Christian leaders, allowing him to become one of the most influential apostles in spreading the gospel. Barnabas played a critical role in nurturing Paul's calling, seeing potential in him when others were still filled with doubt and fear. This reflects Barnabas' deep faith and his commitment to nurturing relationships that show God's goodness. His actions were not motivated by fear or skepticism, but by love, trust, and a desire to see God's kingdom grow. Later, Barnabas was sent to Antioch by the church in Jerusalem when they heard about the growing number of believers in that city. Upon arriving in Antioch, Barnabas saw firsthand how the grace of God was working among the people, and he rejoiced. His heart was filled with goodness and faith, and he encouraged the believers to remain true to the Lord with all their hearts. Barnabas's character is highlighted here. He was a man full of the Holy Spirit, a person who lifted others up and helped them stay on their course in the faith. But Barnabas didn't stop there. Recognizing the need for further teaching and leadership in Antioch, he sought out Paul. He traveled to Tarsus to find Paul and bring him back to Antioch. This act of seeking out Paul shows how Barnabas continued to nurture their relationship, further displaying his goodness. Barnabas saw that Paul had the gifts necessary to strengthen the church, and for a whole year, they worked together to teach and build up the believers in Antioch. Throughout their ministry together, Barnabas and Paul showed how nurturing relationships can lead to the spread of the gospel and the strengthening of the church. Barnabas' goodness and his willingness to lift Paul up when others hesitated were key to Paul's eventual impact on the early Christian world. Because of Barnabas' actions, the church in Antioch grew, and it was there that believers were first called Christians. Barnabas exemplified the goodness of God by believing in people, encouraging them, and fostering a community of faith. 
His relationship with Paul shows that when we take the time to nurture others in their calling and encourage them in their faith, we reflect God's goodness to the world. By helping others find their place in God's work, we build up the body of Christ, just as Barnabas did with Paul. He saw the good in Paul, despite his past, and helped him grow into the apostle who would write much of the New Testament. Barnabas' goodness, faith, and encouragement are a powerful example of how one person can nurture another in their walk with God and in their calling to serve. Let's pray. God, thank you for the example of Barnabas. Help us to nurture other believers in their faith and walk with you. And help us to also be like Paul, allowing others to speak into our lives and help us grow in our faith. Relationships sharpen us to better reflect you and be Christ-like. Help us to have the humility to listen and grow in our relationship with strong believers. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget to tell your mom or dad to visit biblicallycentered.com for some free downloads on Biblically Centered Virtue. We're so glad you listened along to our New Testament story today. Until next time. Thank you.